Hi everybody, my name is Felix. I'm the co-founder of DesignBase Studio. I'm a digital designer and Webflow developer. And me and my team, we recently decided uh, to develop our own Figma to Webflow a style guide and spacing system. And the advantage over other uh, style guides and spacing systems is that it is based on an eight pixel spacing system and a 12 uh, columns grid. And this uh, in combination with the um, readable class names make it very easy for you guys um, when you develop uh, a Figma design and uh, bring it to uh, Webflow. It makes it very easy for you and you can uh, work much faster than ever before. Uh, so without further ado, uh, let's jump on my screen and I show you uh, what we did. Yeah, so the um, system is called Adix Flow. Uh, you can find it on this domain. And uh, you have a start screen uh, with um, the most important information and some links to the free Figma template, uh, to the uh, YouTube tutorials and to our cheat sheet. And the style guide itself it exists in uh, Webflow as well as in uh, Figma. And it looks pretty much the same. You can see that uh, we have uh, here all the typography uh, defined and uh, you find the same here in uh, Figma. And we also, we use the same class name. For example, this is called isH1 uh, and it's the same called here. It's also uh, isH1 and it's here, isH1. And this is the logic that we followed that makes it so easy to develop um, uh, a Webflow page uh, with this system. We also have colors here. I mean, you can change all these colors. That's just the basic style uh, we've used because we liked it. Um, for example, this color is called Green 50. And here you can also see the classes uh, that are core to this. It's BG Green 50 for uh, background colors and it's uh, TXT Green 50 for text colors and so on. And you find the same thing in, let me scroll here, in, uh, in Webflow. And you can adapt and change all this according to the needs of your individual project. Yeah. Furthermore, we have a button styles and we have a lot of uh, useful helper classes. Uh, every helper class is always explained with one sentence, uh, what it is for and what it does. Um, we have form styles and um, for the 12 column uh, grid, we decided to uh, go with containers. Uh, so this container, for example, it um, equals the width of 12 columns uh, in, a, in a design. So for example, here you can see a sample page. You can see um, a 12 uh, column grid and the width of this equals the width of uh, uh, this container. And then we have uh, the same for 10 columns uh, down to uh, four columns. And to fill these containers with, uh, um, yeah, for example, a grid like this, um, you have here um, various grids you can use for them. And this, this, for example, is the grid 444. Why is it called 444? Because um, the original columns are 12 and yeah, 12 divided by three is four. So each column covers uh, uh, each <laughs> each grid cell, sorry, each grid cell covers four columns of the grid. Yeah, so that's that's why it is four for four, and this is for eight, so uh, four columns, eight columns, eight columns, four columns, and so on. Um, this is my favorite class, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we followed uh, the logic. And now the heart of the system is our spacing system. We have a lot of margins, uh, a lot of margin classes, and uh, I scroll down, and a lot of padding classes. And uh, yeah, this is basically the eight pixel uh, spacing system. We have classes like is margin T16, uh, is margin B16, and is margin TB16. So T stands for top, B for bottom, TB for top and bottom, and 16 stands for 16 pixel, and we transferred everything to EM. So um, let me show you how this works. Let's get back to this uh, sample page. Um, so here we have the hero of this sample page. And you can see uh, we've defined a padding here. Um, and the padding is 128 pixel top and bottom. And if we go to the same page uh, here in Figma, you find it here. 
You can see we have this hero here, and the hero has a child, the, the first uh, div. Uh, it only has this class, is pad tb128, pad for padding, tb for top and bottom, and 128 for 128 pixels. And they are, uh, 128 pixels are ADM. No? So uh, yeah, that makes it pretty easy. You just go to the Figma file and you see, ah, okay, 128 pixel, then you choose uh, this class, then you go back again, uh, you select uh, this little eyebrow headline, you see the distance to the um, headline one is 16 pixels, and you can see this little eyebrow headline in Webflow. Um, it has a parent, a parent wrapper. Um, this wrapper, uh, you can see here, we work a lot of with uh, wrappers because uh, we try to avoid uh, combo classes uh, where possible. Because too many combo classes, uh, classes, it always happens that you um, make some changes in combo classes that uh, you actually didn't want to do in a combo class, and then you mess up your project after a while. Uh, so yeah, we avoid combo classes where possible. So we have a wrapper. It is uh, the wrapper has the class is margin b16. So for margin 16 pixels, um, one uh, 16 pixel is one em. You don't have to think about it, just choose 16 if you see 16 here, and that's it. And for the headline, it is in apparent um, with the class is margin B24. And uh, yeah, it's 24 pixels here. So that's how you work with this um, style guide and spacing system. And even if you want to know what uh, kind of um, text size, headline size, you should choose here. If you click at this, you can see it, it's is h2. Uh, you scroll here, you can see the class is is h2. The same here, it's um, h4, and it's the, the distance is 32 pixels, and you find the same here, is h4, it's in a wrapper with 32 pixels, a bottom margin, that equals 2em. And uh, yeah, here you can see one of the grids, it's the grid 444, and uh, it equals the same size you find here. So, and this is a way uh, you can really speed up your Webflow development because uh, in our studio, we always work on different projects parallel and some projects take longer, some are on hold and we have to uh, jump forth and back. I mean, you know the game, but what was always a problem for us was uh, when we were working with classes that were something called like, uh, called like is margin large. In one project, margin large means 120 pixel. In the other project, it means 90 pixel. And in the next project, it means 70 pixel. And after a while, you really mix it up. So you are in, in Figma and uh, you want to see the spacing. And you see here, uh, you have a distance of 24 pixels. And then you think, was it the medium uh, margin? Was it the small margin? Was it X uh, small margin or whatever? And with our system, it doesn't matter because uh, 24, uh, equals equals always the same class. Yeah? It is always is margin t24, no matter which project you are in. So uh, yeah, you can work much quicker and don't need to adapt from, from project to project. That's the uh, big advantage, advantage of it. So yeah, um, clone the Webflow style guide and uh, download the uh, Figma templates and work with, that, work with it and uh, let us know uh, what you're thinking about it. Thanks for watching.